Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to give us his top NBA studs on tonight's slate. What's going on here, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, we got a big NBA slate to close out the week. I'm ready to go. We should see plenty of scoring. Let's get into it on this big time slate. We begin with the Toronto Raptors taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves and your guy Pascal Siakam priced under $9,000 tonight, 8700 over on FanDuel. And I have to imagine a lot of that price or a lot of your love for the price is due to the fact that Kyle Lowry is not expected to play this evening. Exactly. And I also think it has to do with the fact that last night against the uh, against Milwaukee Bucks, we saw Siakam start at center for the Raptors, which is very interesting because if he's starting against at center tonight, we want to be attacking Minnesota. They are dead last in the league, allowing 60.61 FanDuel points per game to opposing centers. That's last in the league. So we have a phenomenal matchup for a now de facto center who used to be their small forward power forward. We have extra usage because Kyle Lowry is out. We beat 226 over under. We have both teams in the top half of the league when it comes to pace. So, yeah, the sub $9,000 price tag is awesome for Siakam tonight. Yeah, starting at center, a lot more flexibility there. And you just have more scoring, more opportunity. Pascal Siakam without Kyle Lowry tonight could be in a prime position to once again take advantage. Up oh, next, the Boston Celtics and Jason Tatum, who's priced at $9,400. Tatum says he still doesn't feel completely back from his bout with COVID, and yet you're going to the Tatum well of this evening. Why is that? So the other night, we actually saw a very solid performance from him, over 50 fanned points. Kemba Walker wasn't in the game for the Celtics. He was out simply due to rest tonight. Jalen Brown is listed as questionable. You know, they're going up against Atlanta tonight. I know they lost the other night to them. Um, this this should be a winnable game for the Celtics. Right now, they're struggling a little bit, but the extra usage for Jason Tatum when Jalen Brown is off the court puts him up to a 35.6% usage rate, producing 1.33 FanDuel points per minute. It's a pace-up spot for Boston. They're 27th in the league in pace. They play very, very slow. Atlanta is sitting at the league average at 15th. So the extra usage, the fact that this should be a winnable game against a weak Atlanta defense, a 227-point over-under, the extra usage, kind of the same situation as Siakam. Really liking Tatum tonight. No Jalen Brown puts Tatum in a fantastic position to do what he did last game and hopefully continue to get healthy, continue to ball out. And in this pace up spot, priced at $9,400, just so much to like about Jason Tatum. One final game to get to, and that is with the Chicago Bulls. Another pace up spot for them, the Bulls and the Sixers tonight. And you're going with Zach Levine, $9,500, most expensive player that we're talking about on this board here this evening. Why is Levine the biggest or most expensive star that you're building around? We are getting an unbelievable floor and ceiling from him. He's taken 21 field goal attempts or more in eight straight games. And in the current starting lineup for the Bulls, he's holding a 36% usage rate, producing 1.73 fandom points per minute. We've always known that Zach Levine has a massive ceiling when it comes to scoring pure points, and that is what we want to be attacking with when it comes to the 76ers. Right now, the 76ers are allowing the ninth most FanDuel points per game to opposing shooting guards, the ninth most. But when it comes to pure points from them, real points, the 76ers are allowing the third most. So they are significantly worse when it comes to just pure scoring. They're also allowing a good amount of three-point attempts, which is where we know Zach Levine can excel uh, very much on a nightly basis. So we love that, you know, $9,500 price tag is where Levine should be priced. We want to take the field goal attempts. We want to take the ceiling. And we have a 231 point over under in this game. It's going to be fantastic for fantasy. High total in this game with a high floor player and a high volume score in Zach Levine. It all adds up to a really, really nice game for Levine in general, but especially in fantasy basketball tonight. Priced at $9,500, Zach Levine seemingly in the perfect spot to exceed this value. That's it for us here on the FanDuel. Hurry up, Tom. We appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Same to you. Talk to you next week. Absolutely. I look forward to it. I look forward to watching all of these games tonight and having a fantastically fun and exciting and warm weekend, we hope. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the weekend. And we'll see you back here on Monday for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.